I never imagined I'd be standing here in my sister's room, dressed in her clothes, taking a selfie. It all started as a joke, really. My sister, Lily, has always had a quirky sense of humor and an even quirkier sense of style. She loves dressing me up, and today was no different. I'd say that dressing my brother like this makes me a womanizer. She exclaimed, laughing as she put the final touches on my outfit, a frilly dress and a casual jacket that somehow worked together. I couldn't help but laugh at her wordplay. So, does that make me a woman? I asked, striking a pose for the camera. We both burst out laughing. It felt odd yet strangely freeing to be in these clothes. The fabric was soft against my skin, and the dress flowed in a way that was entirely foreign to me. I glanced at the mirror, hardly recognizing the person staring back. Lily stood beside me, her arm draped around my shoulder, grinning from ear to ear. Smile for the camera, sis. She said, holding up her phone for a selfie. As the camera clicked, I realized how much fun I was having. It wasn't just about the clothes, it was about the bond we shared, the laughter, and the absurdity of it all. Lily has always had this infectious energy that could make even the most mundane activities entertaining. Over the next few days, Lily started calling me her sister more often. At first, it was just a playful jab, but soon it became a term of endearment. Hey, sis, she'd say, want to go shopping with me? The idea of shopping for feminine clothes was both daunting and exciting. I agreed, mostly out of curiosity and the desire to spend more time with her. The weekend rolled around, and we headed to the mall. I felt a mixture of nerves and excitement as we walked into the first store. Lily immediately started picking out outfits, holding them up against me to see what might work. She had an eye for fashion and quickly assembled a pile of clothes for me to try on. Let's start with these, she said, handing me a few dresses and skirts. And don't worry, we'll find you something that looks amazing. In the dressing room, I changed into a floral dress that felt surprisingly comfortable. I stepped out to show Lily, and her eyes lit up. You look fantastic, she exclaimed, snapping a photo before I could protest. We spent hours trying on different outfits, laughing at the more outrageous ones and marveling at how some of them actually suited me. By the time we were done, I had a small collection of feminine clothes that I felt confident in. But Lily wasn't finished. Now, we need to get you some makeup, she declared, dragging me to the nearest beauty store. There, she gave me a crash course in applying foundation, eyeliner, mascara, and lipstick. She was patient, showing me each step and making sure I got it right. See, it's not so hard, she said, stepping back to admire her work. You look beautiful, sis. I looked at my reflection, barely recognizing myself. The makeup enhanced my features in ways I hadn't expected. I felt a surge of confidence that was both new and exhilarating. We left the store and decided to grab some coffee. As we sat in the cafe, chatting and laughing, I realized how much fun I was having. We talked about everything from fashion to our favorite movies, bonding like two sisters on a day out. The days that followed were filled with similar adventures. We tried new hairstyles, experimented with different makeup looks, and even had a mini fashion show at home. Each experience brought us closer together, and I started to see myself not just as Lily's brother, but as her sister in these moments of joy and discovery. One evening, as we sat on her bed, scrolling through photos from our latest shopping spree, Lily turned to me with a serious expression. You know, you don't have to do this just for me. If you ever feel uncomfortable or want to stop, just tell me. I smiled at her, feeling a deep sense of gratitude. I actually enjoy it, I admitted. It's fun, and I love spending time with you. Plus, it's kind of cool to see this side of myself. Lily grinned and hugged me tightly. I'm so glad to hear that. You're the best sister ever. As we continued our adventures, I realized that these moments were more than just about clothes and makeup. They were about embracing who we are, exploring new facets of our identities, 
and most importantly, strengthening the bond between us. And in those moments, I truly felt like her sister, sharing the kind of fun and connection that only sisters can have.